back to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. If you are new to the channel, you're highly and very welcome. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. Hit on the bell to get an update whenever I upload a new video. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to be showing, I'm just so really excited. I'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this trendy organza shirt dress. So that's what we're going to be sewing today. So this dress, you can actually make it in different ways. You can decide to make it like a shirt that is going to have buttons on the center. That's what the one that we're going to be doing today. It's going to be like a female shirt. It's going to have button down. And then there's another way you can do it that you can decide to do it but it will not have buttons. That if you are going to do that, that means the neckline, even though you are going to add a bow, the neckline is going to be a little bit big. But this one that has button down at the center is the neckline. You can make it as fit as possible. So that's what we are going to be doing today. Okay, so if you want to register for our online classes, you can see my number scrolling through the screen. Just send me a message on WhatsApp and then I'll give you the details of the classes that we have available you can also follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook instagram pinterest all at stylish ninja so let's get started before we continue i bought three yards of organza so you can see my beautiful organza you can buy any organza of your choice this is a designed organza that's what they call it they have the transparent one that are just plain without any design so we have three yards that's what we are going to be making use so of why i bought three yards because of the bow i want my bow to be really big and elaborate okay so i have my pattern paper i cannot do this since it is a shirt so i need to undo it on a pattern and then we'll transfer to the fabric it is a very simple project so i have some basic lines here already the lines that i have here this one is my shoulder line i have my bust line and then i have my waist and then my full length of my dress so you just use your own applicable measurements from your shoulder to your bust point, which is your nipple, to your half cut, and then you have the full length. So now we're just going to go ahead and draft. You, what we're drafting literally is just like a basic body. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I'm going to come here, since this is a shirt, I'm going to be making it of three inches for my neck width. So this is my neck width here, three inches. So from these inches, I'm just going to take out just like one inch yeah. so this one inch is going to be for the back and the front neckline so after doing this the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to measure my shoulder measurement so from this point like this after measuring just place your tape and then i'll use 15 inches for my shoulder that shoulder divide into two you have 7.5 i'm just going to go ahead i'll add just one inch to it you can do half for my stitching allowance and then from this point i'm going to measure eight inches this eight inches i'm going to use for my armhole line okay so you can see our armhole is perfect the next thing we're going to do now we're going to measure out our shoulder slope And then we're going to measure out our full measurement. So, like I told you, I said the dress, I don't since I'm going to be adding a button down, I don't want it to be too loose. So it's going to be a little bit fitted. Okay, so for the fitting, my bust measurement is 39 inches. Sorry, it's 36. So when you divide 36 into four, you have nine inches. So, like I said, I don't want it to be too loose. I'm going to add about two inches to reach for my allowance. So from this point, I'm just going to go ahead, I'll do this. And then the next measurement that I'm going to add to this shirt is the waist measurement. So for the waist measurements, I'm using 34. So that's 8.5, that's 34. When you divide 34 into four, so you have 8.5 like this here. Just use your own measurement, please. And then I'll add the same two inches as my allowance. And then for the down part of my dress, that's my the, the down part. So I'm just going to take what I have here. I'll bring it down. I'll just add about two inches to the measurement. 
just to have a little bit of like an open on that down part so this down part we are still going to shape it i want it to look like a shirt so we're going to go ahead and do that later on so now i have just my basic dress out so for this you can decide to add a dart to it so i'll go ahead and cut so i'm going to use this for both the back and the front okay so you can see my pattern i finished cutting it out so next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to use this pattern to cut out both the back and the front so i'm just going to go ahead now cut out the back piece and then before we work on the front piece okay so you can see i finished cutting out my piece so if you notice i added a lot of allowance to the down part why i did this is because i want to curve the down part of my shirt so i'm going to do that with the front so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to cut out the front piece okay guys so we're going to cut out the front now so there's something i did i just want you to see so you can see my fabric is folded into two so i went ahead and folded about two inches inwards just like this and then i secured it down so this is going to be the center part of our shirt that's you need this extra allowance on it so your dress will be able to that's your shirt to be able to to button properly so and then i'm going to take the back piece and place it i'm going to place it on top like this making sure that they are the same and then i'll cut it out so after cutting it out i'm just going to go ahead i'll open this up so I want to open it now. So I already have a mark here, which will serve as guide. So I'm just going to go ahead and open it on the center. Okay, so after opening now, I'm going to take this back now to my ironing table. So I'm trying to get the right side. I don't even know if Oganza they have the right side. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'll take it back to my table now. And then I'll go and iron this down. So for this part, because organzas are always very transparent, what I'm just you can use an overlock seam to do that, or you can decide to to fold it first like this, and then do this. You understand? Okay, guys. So for the center of my Planket, that's for the shirt. I decided to use facing for it. So, like I said, you can just place it down like this and then stitch. But you're going to have, since it is a transparent shirt, I will really will not advise that unless if you are going to use an overlock here and then before placing and then securing down, it will be okay. So, but mine, I will use a facing. So, what I'm just going to do now, I'll take this. So, I cut out about two. What I cut out is big guys about two and a half inches. So I'm going to level it up. So I'll just go ahead. I'll take it like this. You can do it however. You can decide to bring it out. You can decide to take it in. Depends on what you want. I think mine, I'm going to bring it out. So I'll, I'll be able to manipulate it nicely and give it a good finishing. So what I'm, I mean is I'm going to take this now. Sew it from the inside. This is the inside. After sewing from the inside, I'll turn it out like this. And then I'll iron it and then come back and show you how it will look like. I'll do it for both sides. Okay, so I finished stitching my center planket. It, this one was really a very, a hard knot to crack. Why? Because this is an organza, so it's also a little bit difficult. So you see at the end of the day, see how it is looking. So I had to just turn it and then I did a top stitch again. So you can see I almost burnt the neck line parts for this one so why i didn't bother is i'm still going to trim it out so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to take the both pieces i'm going to take them like this and then i'm going to place them on top of each other the way it's going to be so this one is going to lap sit on top of it like this and then i'll pin it together before and then i'll start working on the dress that's to cut out the neckline and then join the side side together okay. 
Okay, so you see what we have here. So you can see this middle part. Now you see it's looking like a shirt already, which is beautiful. So the next thing now, the neckline that I cut out, I'm going to add the neckline to it right now. So I finished cutting out. So for the front one, I'm going to deepen it with just a little bit. I want the neckline to be high, so I'll just okay. So the next thing we are going to go and do now is to join our dress together. That's the side seam and the shoulder. We're going to go ahead and do that. Before we go, I think we should shape shaping the down. Oh, okay, no. I think let's join it together before we curve the down part. So I'll just take it back now and then go ahead and do that. Join the side and then the shoulder. Okay, guys, so you can see we're almost done with our shirt. And it is looking beautiful. So the next thing we're going to do now, I'm going to shape the side of my dress. So to shape it, I'm just going to go ahead and fold it back. And then I'm going to come to this part. So I'll measure the length of the dress. So the length that I want for my dress, because I want 25, but because I'm still going to fold it, so I'm just going to make it about 26 and half. So this is 26 and half here. So from this part, I'm just going to go ahead like this. So since this part is 26 and a half, I'm just going to come up a little bit. And then from those points, I'm going to take that 26 and a half mark. So you can see how beautiful it is looking. So it is not very straight. So I'm going to go ahead and straighten it more so you see it is looking like a shirt now the damn part is looking like a shirt okay so i use this part to strip this part also okay so you can see what we have now you can see our dress we are almost done so you see the damn part the shape is looking okay it's, it's okay i think i like the curve that i have so the next thing that we're going to do now, we're going to cut out the bow for the neckline. So you notice that the neckline is just plain. We're going to fix the bow. We're just going to fix it on all, just fix it around like this. So that's what we so say. I really don't need to measure it. Why I say I don't need to measure it? Because I'm going to cover up every part of the bow. That's, that's, I'm going to sew it and turn it fully before using it so I don't I will not leave out any part. So for the bow it depends on how full you want your bow to be or how big that is what you will use to cut out your bow. So for mine you know I use three yards of fabric. So the entire stretch is this is three yards. So that's what I'm going to use for my bow. So it's going I want it really big and full. Okay so you see I've I've cut out what I want. So like I said the full long strap is three yards and then the length that I have here is about 13 inches. So you can depend on how big you want it to be. So what I'm going to simply do now, I'm going to take it back to my machine and then I'm going to stitch. But before I do that, I need to, to define the, the edges. So I need to define the edges. I want the edges, that's the down part of the bow. So you, this, you can do it however you want. So I'll take it back to my machine now and then I'm going to sew it and then turn it. I'll sew everything. And then I'll just leave a little bit of opening at the center from where I'll turn it and then I'll iron it out. Okay guys, so you can see I finished stitching my bow so you can see how clean and flat it is looking so once you're done you just give it a good ironing just press it down firmly so the next thing now, i'm going to show you how to fix this 
So if, if you for in order for it to be on the center, you just make sure you open up your your shirt. So once you open it up, you take this like this, and then you take the center back. So you can put a very tiny notch there, or you use your chalk. And then you take the center of your bow also, make sure it is the same. So this was where I opened it from to turn it. And then you are going to match them. So you just make sure you match them like this. And then I'll pin and just pin it around. So that was why I said I, I did not leave any hem. I made sure that I stitched everything. So to give the neckline a, a beautiful finishing. So that's why I did that. So with this now, the neckline is covered. So you see. You can use overlock also. And then I'll take it. So you see when it gets to this point like this. So I'll do the same thing to this side also. So I'll go ahead now. I'll take it back to my machine and then I'm going to just stitch it and then you see we are almost done with the dress so at the end of the day you can see how our organza shirt with bow tie how it is looking came out really beautiful I'm just so excited at the outcome of the dress so you see the center part I have not added the buttons yet so I'm going to add the buttons and then you see the sleeve. So for the sleeve, the video is getting too long, so I decided to edit the sleeve out. So I made another video of the sleeve, so I'm going to drop the link in the description box so for you to learn how to sew a shirt sleeve. So you can see our bow came out even more beautiful than I expected it to be. So thank you so much. If you find this video helpful, please, I would appreciate if you would hit so you can see. If you hit on the like button and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Nigeria YouTube channel. So thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you.